What's up, Ride Warriors? Danny Miller here. This is episode 19, I believe, of our uh, Planet Coaster excursion here, uh, constructing evergreen groves here in Planet Coaster. Last time, we sort of put the finishing touches on our food stand building. We put the lights and some flowers and some signs on it. So, to sort of complete the building aspect of our arrival and entry area, if you will... Um, I think we should move on to the left side of the midway because everything over here on the right side is looking very, very nice. We'll put some lights, some flowers and things uh, sort of over here um, a little bit later. But uh, generally, it's starting to look really very nice there. So let's go over to this side, which is quite bare. I mean, we've got our guest services type building and everything there but we've we've got uh we've got to do something about our uh our gift shop area here which i i think i've constructed a little bit differently um so let's get around to doing that i'm going to change the lighting to 3 p.m so that the lighting is sort of over here and i can see things a bit better from this angle um okay so we are going to uh we don't want to change this. We want to select the building. So there we go. Main Midway Gifts. It's already named. Okay, so let's edit the building. And I think we're going to continue with our, our modern wood look here that we've uh, had throughout the entire time. We're not going to do the steel roofs, uh, although we will do the... Um, we'll keep with the uh we'll keep with the tile roof um that has worked well for us to date um okay so let's go to the wall pieces first we know that we're gonna want the shop front walls here um even though we are going to sort of enclose things here um we we still want to have sort of the the shop front walls there um so I think we're going to want to have that sort of thing here. And probably also here. I mean, so this is sort of the building that I think we're going to do a little bit of the more of the curved look that I, I sort of was starting and then abandoned um, for the for the other um, for the other shop um, on the other side. Um, so let's see here. What do we have? Um Maybe we want to shrink the grid size a little bit. Maybe we can do something. Hmm. Shrink the grid size even more. Um, because I, I, I don't really want to... I want to have the entrance sort of off the midway a little bit. So, like, maybe there... Hmm. Well, let's 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 see what we can come up with. Uh, first and foremost, I mean, we're gonna have to have some sort of archway, right? Um, we're gonna have to have some sort of wall here, for sure. I'm starting to think that I might have to come sort of straight in. Because if I want to do the archway, I mean, I can do the archway out in the front here, and it looks okay. Not so much here. Um, might have to rethink this path already. Um, let's see here. Let's 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 sort of refine this path a little bit. Um, I want the gray. Is this the black? Planet coaster marked. I think it is. Let's let's do away with this for now. And I know that I want this to be a little bit on the shorter side. I'm gonna delete this off of here. This building out of 
<laughs> yeah, there's, 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 there's little jingles that the shops and stalls and stuff play when they, when they get plunked down is just, is just never going to get old. Um, that, that, that will make me laugh every time. Um, so there we go. Um, and I can, I can make this, oh, I can make that like asphalt, um, entering. We'll see whether or not, I, I kind of like having it be a little bit different. Um. Is there a way to make those shorter? Yes, I, I know. You're excited that uh, it's just a memento. Um, okay, gonna remove these paths here. Um, and I figured that this was gonna be a little bit of a work in progress. Uh, and, and sort of just kind of fig... <laughs> just changing up a little bit there. Uh, the just a memento. Uh... Let's see, so I want to do... I wanted to do the planet coaster path. I wanted to snap somehow. Um, it, it doesn't need to really be... I, I think it could just kind of be like that, to be completely honest. Um, so now let's, let's move. Let's get it to be approximately centered. Perhaps. Um. Uh, I want it to look like it's about centered. Um. I mean, I could I could get it really very close um, if I wanted to. Um, I mean, that that looks pretty close to being centered, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it there. Just a moment. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so now let's edit the building. Um, this is gonna give us an opportunity to maybe do some things on the inside. Um, this being more of a, a gift shop type thing. Um, and good, the way the, the grid has set up here um, gives me an opportunity to do this maybe correctly, although it doesn't seem to want to line up. It's not lining up exactly kind of where I want it. Um, so maybe what I need to do is I actually need to um, start building the building first. Maybe we'll try that. Um, sort of do the, the building first. Uh, because the, if, for the building, it doesn't really matter where it is, because I can just sort of make the cues, I can uh, make the paths kind of work around it afterwards. Um, so we'll do that. Um, so let's see. I'm going to do my normal wall piece in between the two for sure. Um, I know we're going to be limited back here as far as what we can do. Um, so why don't we find our curved wall, which is probably going to have to be sort of like that. And I'd like to do maybe another one like that. Or maybe I can sort of join them. I can do that sort of thing, um, and then I'll just have a wall around it later so that it's not um, super awkward. <clears throat> Line it, bump it out one more, kind of there. <clears throat> and that's, that's symmetric there, and I can sort of move things around so that they sort of look correct. Um, I want to do this back here, obviously. <clears throat> um, 
And I, I may want to build something off the back here, um, but we'll, we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, so then, how do we want this to sort of look? Let's, uh, let's, let's now move and adjust sort of the building placement based off of that. I'm going to move the whole thing. Um, so we want it to go sort of somewhere like this. Um, you know, we could, we could, we could probably even move it back, um, a little bit further. I'm going to try and get as close to a true bird's eye view as I can here. Um, cause, cause we can, we can definitely move it back a little bit. Um, sort of like just that. And is it just me or does it not look like completely... It's, it's almost as if it's not completely orthogonal to the to the path. It's very weird. If, like if I pull the building, well, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's just the fact that I'm not completely straight on to the grid. I guess it's orthogonal. Um, from a certain angle, it doesn't look like it is, but apparently it is. Um, we're gonna remove these for now. Um, we're gonna have to continue with the buildings because I I, I want to be able to join these two things together, and I would really like if they had. Um, a different path coming off and just weren't automatically connecting there. But like, can I, can I, like if I do that, am I going to have the ability to sort of join them together? I am, but then it does that weird thing with the path, um, which I don't necessarily want. Um, so we'll, we'll deal with that. <clears throat> we'll deal with that a little bit. Um, okay, so now what do I want to do for the for the front um, for the front of this store? Let's let's edit the building. Let's go back here. And I know that I've got. I gotta change my grid. Change it down to three. Change my change my height to three as well. Um, <clears throat> See, I could I could do sort of this this round look, and then we're just gonna have to figure out how this sort of goes. Um, hmm. It's still gonna have to come in straight, isn't it? I think it is. Um, so I think let's do an archway. Let's do an archway here, and an archway here, and then we sort of know what our limits are going to be. So we're going to have a wall there, and a wall there. Okay, so that's at least the general walls that we have to build with. So now let's see what we can do about making... See, I don't want that to auto-connect. Um... Flat terrain, pass boards, curves up, railing on ground, Q railing on elevated. Um, see, I, I don't want that con to connect up. I want to be able to build kind of here and go through there. And then maybe I can do that sort of thing. Um, hmm... I'm not sure what I want to do about this, because this is connecting up here, and I don't want it to. Um, I feel like if I move the building back a little bit further, I might be able to avoid that. Do you see how it's like it's like slightly off angle, and it, it kind of looks like it's not orthogonal, or parallel, I guess is the right word? Um, it looks like it's not quite parallel to the path, but it is. Um, so if I go, if I go, if 
I go there, my still yeah, I'm not hitting that building. Um, and actually, that's that's no worse than what I'm doing back here. It's actually probably a little bit farther away. Um, so I I got no problems there, and my building is not like clipping into another building. So now I've got to deal with this path here. Um, this is proving to be a little bit more difficult than I would have liked. Um, okay, so we're good there. But now it's like wanting to auto-connect here. Um, which I do not want it to do at all. Um, hmm. <clears throat> This is proving to be a little bit of a royal pain in the ass. Um, see, and I, I wanted to have like a, I wanted to have a little bit of a different setup. I wanted it to be like a true gift shop um, where people actually go in. But as as soon as I make as soon as I try and make the width wider, see they wanted to auto connect, and this this is one of the things with with the path building system uh, that this program has um, that it's just it's just a little bit different than what you're used to, and the paths don't do exactly the type of things that you want them to do in the right spots and and you've got super you've got super customization abilities with the paths oh see that's okay um and generally the paths tend to work very well but there's just a there's just a few instances where they don't do exactly what you want them to do and this is one of those instances and it becomes very very difficult see now it's like i don't know what's actually going on here Oh, did it? See, it, it just wants to connect there. That's not where I want to build my path off of. Um, I, I don't want it to snap there. Maybe, oh, see if I turn snapping off. I can sort of maybe... And maybe that's the ticket is to kind of turn snapping off. And then if I do that, see it's it's snapping to 45 degree angles. Um, oh, see maybe I need to turn the snapping down to like 30 degree angles, and it'll do something a little bit different. No, not really. Um, see, it's doing this weird thing that piece of path right there, um, and I can't tell if that's just a shadow and it's not liking it. Um, It's like doing this weird thing. And all I wanted to do is sort of match the other side. Um, but it's not really doing that for me. Um, Okay, see, like, that's symmetric, and I'd, I'd be happy with that, and I'd be willing to, I'd be willing to move on with that, um, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's inconvenient for what I'm actually trying to build at, at the moment, um, which, which is fine, I, I think we can, we can work around this, I'm just trying to come up with I'm trying to come up with something that looks good and also looks different, uh, but it's also a pain that um, that the paths aren't doing exactly what I want them to here. Um, so we'll we'll give this a shot, and perhaps if I can't get this to do exactly what I want it to do um, this time around, 
then perhaps um, I will have to punt and just basically start over um, trying to do this path thing here. So I've got an archway there. I can put an archway there. Oh, fine. Build that. Um, see, it's 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 not at all kind of what I want. Um, I want the grid to go smaller. Um, yeah, this is this is this is not going well. Um, we're gonna have to try something new. Um, okay. We're going to try something new, um, and you know I'm I'm I I'm, I don't feel too bad about sort of uh, challenging my way through this here because I know um, I know that. Um, doing this building is going to end up being uh, a couple episodes, just like the other one was. Um, so I don't feel too terrible that um, I'm struggling with this a bit here. Um, so I, I want to make something that looks good, you know what I mean? Um, and the fact that that's a different path there is sort of screwing it up. Um, so maybe I need to just bow, bow out and uh, build two things that are just sort of straight off um, maybe I just need to sort of bow out here and and build some paths that are that are straight off of the shops and just have, nope don't want to build that um, and just build two things that are straight off like this and um, just sort of have <sighs> A little indoor plaza, if you will. So I I think that's fine. We'll make that work. Um, can I at least change these paths to the planet coaster ones? I can. Okay. So this this is gonna make me at least happy enough where this will work. Um, perhaps what we'll do we'll we'll see what these we'll see what the paths are gonna let me do here now. Um, based on the way that I've built that out. Let's edit the building. Because right now the, the paths are, are quite good. Um, so I can do a couple of things with these archways. I can sort of do this type of thing where they're out here, which might look good. Or I can build them out very, very close uh, to the path, which I don't necessarily want to do, um, because over here I have things off the path quite a bit, and then I sort of build the building out and have some room for scenery. Um, so I think I want to do the same thing, where the building does sort of come out to the path, uh, but ultimately I still want people to go into this building. Um, so I think we'll leave it like that, and then maybe we'll have we'll have an awning or an overhang of some sort uh, that comes off of uh, the front here, and we'll build it out just like we did on the other side. Um, I think we'll do that for now. Hmm. Now here comes the tricky part. Because it's not going to like that. The way that I've built that. Now, maybe this is an opportunity of sorts for me here to sort of do something. I 
it'd be nice if I could do... this sort of thing. Um, and you know what? If I sort of hide... If I put that wall there, which sort of hides things... Do that sort of thing. And what I'll do is I'll put an archway on the back side as well. So it sort of hides everything. So now you're sort of inside here. What I can do... is I can put this type of wall here. And I can put this here, and now it's sort of blocked off by everything. Okay, um, so now we've we've got the basic shape of our building, and it's, it's sort of got this nice little recess and everything in here, and I, I, I feel like I'm going to end up putting those awnings up there, and I think they'll look pretty neat. Um, so we'll, we'll do that again. Um, so now what I know I'm going to have to do... is I know I'm going to have to have these types of roofs here. And they're just going to have to look like that. Um, I think that's okay. maybe want to do is pull these walls so that they're underneath. Because I, I might end up putting a column there anyway to sort of fall in line with everything else. Um, so that's good. Um, let's see here. Um, do I want the awnings? I know I want the awnings... I guess the question is, do I want them inside or outside? Um, I feel like I want them outside, um, so that they're actually facing towards the midway. <sighs> Arches, we've definitely got plenty of these that can sort of come out here. Well, if they come out here... Then I can put them there, but then they sort of clip. If they go right there, they, they clip. Um, because that's that's the way this game works, is it sort of makes those corner pieces um, so that they look nice. But in this particular instance, I don't necessarily want them to do that. Um, so I end up having to do things like this. Which is okay. I think we can make do with that anyways. Um, so we'll, we'll probably have roof pieces coming off there somehow. Um, it's going to be a very different looking building um, from the others. Um, okay, so what do we want to do here? Um, I think perhaps what we'll do, we'll go to the flat roof, and I think we'll maybe actually put a piece of flat roof, um, sort of around the entire piece here so that it's got this consistent look because we've got these round roofs, uh, on the entire thing. Can I make the grid size any smaller? I can't make the grid size any smaller. 
Um, so we've just got that there. Um, do we have roof trims? We do have roof trims. We have wood platform overhang. Um, you know, that, that, that looks interesting. Um, it's not really the same types of pieces we've been using everywhere. Uh, but I'm, I'm up for doing something a little different, and I, I think that looks okay. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of see where the, where the roof comes in, because we're going to have these eaves coming out, I think, just like we did on the other building. Okay, so this, and this basically by default at this point means that we've got to have our, our awnings on the inside, um, which is fine. Um, so let's go down to first person. So we'll sort of come in here, and this is our little, this is our little, our gift shop here. Um, you know, we'll have some room, and there's some, it's an area to congregate and whatnot. Um, I guess, uh, I guess a good question is, is there a way to actually join those, those paths together? Will, will it, will it let you, if I want to join these paths together here, will it let you? No, it won't. Um, okay. So, I can't put those, I can't put all those paths together. Okay, so, um, this stand here, this is the Hats Fantastic. <clears throat> so, we're going to edit this. All right, so this is the hats fantastic. Um, we're gonna go to decorations, shop decorations. We're gonna take our filters off. Um, shop awning hats fantastic. Um, and I'm gonna go back over to the to the other see they were going there but they were sort of clipping in which I which I don't want um, and we sort of had them sort of had them they're hanging down sort of one layer. See where this is kind of out, and do we have a just a memento hot dog squad, just a memento awning? Um, there we go. So the hat's fantastic awning will go. Yeah, we'll put it here. The hats are fantastic, folks. Um, okay, so we'll 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 get this placed. The advanced move. Think that is looking pretty close to centered. It looks centered. Looks pretty centered to me. Um, so then I'm just trying to be consistent here, and we have the awning coming down sort of to, like, the middle. The awning itself coming down to, like, the middle of that tile piece. So we'll, we'll eyeball that same sort of uh, consistent placement over here. Um, just to try and keep things as consistent as possible. But down to the middle, I think that's probably about where we want it. I think that's good. Is it going to make the little jingle again? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, and then if I control X, and I want to make this a just a memento. I want it to slide with me over here. 
and I'm going to get it approximately centered over this shop, which I think is right about there. What are you going to say? Just, Just a moment. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now we've got our two signs here. And you know what? I uh, I wasn't originally going to plan on doing this, but I, I think considering the fact that... Um, it really makes no sense to just have an empty block there. Um, I think I will go ahead and just build whatever the, the third uh, gift shop is. Um, there's Hats Fantastic, Just a Memento, and Looney Bloons. Uh, Looney Balloons. <laughs> Looney Balloon. Um, so there, I'll, I'll just I'll build one there because it doesn't make sense to just not have um, those things there. So we'll turn uh, building material, which is the wood tile and wood modern, back on. Here's our shop front. Okay, now we want to go back to the decorations and... There's got to be a loony balloon. Loony balloons. There we go. Um, actually, we're going to click on this one. Why are you so far? Oh. Apparently, you can come out further than the other one. Can you? Yes, you can. That's odd. Um... They come out different lengths. Um, no, just now I'm gonna go check the ones over here to make sure that they're out okay. Um, that one's fine. I think Chief Beef is the first one I did, so that one's fine. And how about you? Yeah, the gulpy soda one's fine. Um, so for whatever reason, that just a memento one is a little bit weird. It actually comes out a little bit farther than the hat's fantastic one. Um, and it's shaped a little differently, I guess. Um, Yeah, that's, that's really weird. Um, I'll try and get it as close as the others as I can. There, it's clipping through just a little bit, um, which I think is what those others are all doing. Um, so, just there we go. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so now we'll control X to advance duplicate. Nope, screwed that up. Um, I'm going to grab the red arrow, move you over, and I want to make you a loony balloon. Loony balloons. Um, and you are just like the Chief Beef one, I think. <clears throat> so now let's get you approximately centered. I think that actually looks pretty good. Um, what's your story back here? Yeah, you seem to be fine there. Um, you're fine as well. Um, it's very weird that the way those are sort of treated. Um, it's very, very odd. Um, okay, so I think we'll place you. <laughs> Looney balloons. Looney balloons. Um, okay, so now when we walk into our gift shop here at Player Height, we've got these these nice stores that we can uh, that we can go with, um, and maybe we'll, maybe we'll put things <clears throat> in here. We'll put some lights in here to sort of light it up um, at night time, so that there's actually lights inside the building. Uh, we're at 40 minutes already. Oh boy! Um, wow. So we've got this building sort of started here. 
Um, it's going to be a very sort of, it's going to be a very different shaped building, obviously. It's, it's going to look a little bit fancier, uh, but I think it's going to balance things out nicely. Um, you know, when we, when we come down into our park entrance, uh, experience, if you will, we're going to have this, this nice building on the right, which is all of our food shops and stuff. Uh, and we're still going to have a very nice yet different looking building, um, off to the left, so we're going to have this off to our right, this off to our left. It's it's going to be two completely different looks, um, while still having the same feel and vibe. Um, so I, I, I think it's actually going to look pretty cool, and then by the time we put lights and, you know, bushes and everything in here, which is probably going to be what we end up doing next. Oh, sorry, it's, uh, it's getting late, um, and I'm, I'm getting sleepy. Um, I, I think this looks pretty good. It's laid out a little bit differently. It's laid out more like a sort of a, a classic gift shop. And maybe it even makes sense, um, you know, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's go to the wall pieces. Um, let me turn my filters on here. Tile, modern. Um, I want this, the shop front. Um, You know, I'm thinking about it, and I'm kind of thinking that it makes sense to have, uh, you know, a uh, shop front there, so that it's sort of like a window and you can actually see through it. Um, obviously it's not going, uh, in front of a, there's not actually a shop there, um, but it, it sort of gives you the ability to look through here and kind of see what's going on. Um, so I, I think I'm actually gonna do that to leave it more open. Um, yeah, I, I like that quite a bit, actually, and maybe, um, maybe I'll even put a sign eventually up here that's illuminated that just says gift shop. Um, I, I think that's actually exactly what we'll do. We'll, we'll find a nice wooden sign that we can put on the front there that says gift shop. Um, maybe we'll even put it out front here. Um, and I think we'll have that looking pretty good. Um, so we've got the basic structure down. We've got the we've got the awnings and the shops placed, and I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I want to do about the upper half and the roof and everything. So perhaps we'll end this episode here, uh, and we'll pick up next time with uh, finishing off the top half of the building. And depending on the timing with that, maybe we'll start to put lights. Uh, and some signs on this, and we'll make it look really, really nice and make it blend into everything else that we've done here so far. Um, so we'll end this episode here. Uh, thanks for joining me again, and uh, we will see you in the next episode here on Planet Coaster. <laughs>